We're going to be palpating the muscle vastus medialis. As a preference myself, I'm going to actually start with the insertion of vastus medialis and work our way up towards the origin. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is identifying the patella bone, which is right in this area here. And I'm going to be feeling more the medial aspect or medial border of the patella. And now I'm going to ask my partner here to lock her knee. Great. So right along here, we have the insertion as well as a little bit more inferior than that. You can relax on this object right here known as the tibial tuberosity via the patellar ligament or quadriceps contendon. Go ahead and lock your knee again one more time for me. Perfect, right in this area. So these are the two insertion points, the medial aspect of the patella and the tibial tuberosity. Now for the muscle belly, it's often described as having a teardrop shaped muscle. So you're going to see the predominant muscle belly in this area here. So you can go ahead and lock your knee for me. Great. So right in this area, this is the most visible palpable part of vastus medialis. However, it actually extends quite a bit up towards the intertrochanteric line. The first or lowest of the origins, I'm just going to be hooking around towards the back side of the femur. And again, I'm gonna ask her to contract her quads. Good, I get lifted up and off. This right here is the medial supercondylar ridge of the femur. Now I'm gonna go up, basically pushing down sartorius and hooking my fingers towards the back of the femur. I'm not getting all the way onto the back of the femur, but I am trying to indicate that its origin is on the posterior femur on the medial linea aspera. I'm going to continue following that all the way up. I'm going to ask her to contract her quads for me. Good. I get lifted up and off. And I'm going to follow up in a very similar pathway to sartorius, which is then going to be pushing away these adductors and keeping the quadriceps on this side. We're going to go continue working our way up. Again, can you lock your knee for me? Good, and relax. So if you can recall from Sartorius, or if you've watched the previous video, Sartorius is actually flexing the knee. So I will not be feeling Sartorius as I ask her to, in this case, extend her knee. Go ahead and do that, good. So right here is rectus femoris, but I'm going medial to rectus femoris and deeper to rectus femoris. I'm going under a little more medial, and when she locks her knee for me, my fingers get lifted up and then out. Good, like so. The highest origin of this muscle is going to be on what is known as the intertrochanteric line. Go ahead and lock your knee for me one more time. Good, and relax. And that's in between basically the greater and lesser trochanter, the femur, which is running on an oblique. So this is more the medial part of that intertrochanteric line. And one last time, just lock your knee for me. Great. So these whole area has three, these three attachments, intertrochanteric line, medial lip of the linea aspera, and the medial supercondylar ridge. And that's going to conclude our palpation of vastus medialis.